Right. So Tom uh, start as uh, kind of naive and grow very strong mm. and very fast. So how was it uh, as a process for you as an actor to make that transition believable in less than two hours? Well, luckily I had about five months to do it. <laughs> so we could do it gradually, actually. You know, we were lucky in terms of the shooting schedule. The, the stuff at the farm at the beginning with my family was the first stuff we shot. So I could kind of see the beginning point. And then we moved and shot, uh, actually, some of the sequence, the action at the end mm -hmm. uh, in Mother Malkin's, you know, dilapidated lair. So I, I had the, the, the bookends. Mm -hmm. So then you can make the transition, you know, in the scenes that are you know, obviously between that. Um, and, you know, I think this was a character, it was hard to know exactly what he was like, because there's not that many clues in the script or the book, like what this man is actually like. Mm -hmm. um, so the sort of finding the balance of tough and, you know, gritty with, with kind of warm and sweet, mm -hmm. you know, it, that's, that's, that was the tricky balance with this character, I think. Um, but, you know, you learn about who you are in conversation with other people, I think, as well, in terms of, you know, people express their ideas and you either naturally agree or you don't. And I think, you know, so doing those scenes with Jeff and with Alicia um, in particular, those two, you know, you, you learn about who you are through other people. Mm -hmm. How did you bond with Jeff? Because this is, you spend a lot of time together. This is pretty rare, I mean, on screen. So Yeah, uh, what, he, was, what? he was so interesting. He, he was a bit wary of me at first, I think, mm -hmm. in, in, in the way that the character was, you know, he would kind of, he takes a while to sort of trust, trust, uh, you know, people, and he was, I think he was playing some games with me in terms of, um, you know, the character that, I'm supposed to hate him at the beginning, kind of, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't like the fact that he's dragged me away and bought me to go on this, this journey. And then a few weeks in, like, it was a long shoot, a few weeks in, he kind of thawed and, and, you know, we would end up playing music together in his, uh, in his tents and we would, uh, you know, he bought me, he, for my birthday, he had this amazing chair, which I used to like sneak and sit in because it was really comfortable, this reclining chair. And I came in and there was two chairs next to each other. And he mm -hmm. said, that's you, that's me. So did you have to, did you do something particular in order for, for him to accept you? I mean, because that must have been a bit, Oh, I think know. he was in control of this. He, he, he I did, it wasn't about me. It was about him, you know, manipulating the situation so it felt like the, the, mm -hmm. the character, mm -hmm. the apprentice and mentor figure. And mm -hmm. he sat me down eventually and was like, I'm your apprentice in the, you know, you're my apprentice in the movie. I think you should be my apprentice in real life. Let's talk about acting. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, it was cool to to kind of get those insights from him and in terms of how he approaches scenes and stuff. It was, you know, it's a good balance. Is there a lesson that your character goes through in the movie that you also went through in real life, obviously in a different level, that one you could pick? I mean, I don't know about going through, like, at the same time as we were shooting it. I don't know about that. I mm -hmm. mean, it's interesting. Somebody else brought up an interesting point about being, like, the chosen one, sort of being fated to do, go on this journey. You know, did, did I feel the the pressure in real life of being the chosen one to be in the film. And I think that's an interesting kind of, mm -hmm. that was an interesting uh, 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 sort of a lo comparison to make because, you know, Tom Ward, this character is kind of plucked because he's the seventh son of the seventh son. You know, he's, he's, he has to defend the world against evil and he has that responsibility is placed on him. And I think with a film like this, you know, as an actor, you want to play the part because you want to have the experience and you know you want to work with these great actors and you want to tell these kinds of stories but you don't necessarily want the pressure of it working being based on you know how you do and uh, and and you know and people going to see it and all that 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 pressure mm -hmm. uh, you don't necessarily want that part that responsibility so you ha but obviously you have to take you know the whole the everything as a whole so it was kind of an interesting that was an interesting uh, uh, balance to mm -hmm. kind of think about last question eurovision this is something wow. that is big in France. Uh, what, what is your memory about it? And is, is music still a big part of your life? It is. Um, my memory about it was fleeting. I find it, uh, I find it kind of embarrassing to talk about because I don't think it's very good. Uh, <laughs> and I was in this band for about one week, two weeks, maybe two weeks. <laughs> uh, and, it's like, and it's become this, this thing, even though I was, you know, I was, it was, you know, 15 years ago or something and it's still this thing which people bring up uh, but and I'm only ashamed of it because I think the music isn't very good because mm -hmm. uh, I love music and I would like people to associate me with with having good musical taste and that 
absolutely suggest that I don't. <laughs> but I have just I just did a film with Catherine Heigl mm -hmm. um, called Jackie and Ryan, in which I play like a street busker, like a train hopping street busker from the south. Mm -hmm. um, I, I play you know guitar and sing a, a lot of like folk blues kind of music in that in that movie. So hopefully I can redress the balance. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you. So